His name is Ian Thomas, tight end of the Indiana Hoosiers, and he joins us here on the show. Ian, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. My pleasure, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing all right, man. Interesting season for you guys of the football field in Indiana. It started off on that night game in Bloomington, Indiana, against number two, Ohio State. You had put the scare in the Hoosiers early. That first half, the crowd was rocking, national TV. Everybody was watching that game. At that point in time, that first half, that must have been a pretty fun moment, a rollicking atmosphere that you guys were playing in. What was that like early on when you had that scare in Ohio State? Yes, sir. It was It was definitely a great game. Um, it was a great experience, especially with the fans and um, our first game coming into the season. So it was definitely um, one to remember uh, with my teammates and family. How about last season for you guys? The Hoosiers have been trying to kind of build something for a couple of years. You started out at Community College, then went to Bloomington. How would you look at where the Indiana football program now is after where you came in and where it was? Um, I definitely think it's been on the rise even before I got before I've gotten there, and um, it's still going up from here. So um, definitely it's been increasing, and um, I think it's going in the right direction to continue to be a great program and uh, continue to have success on and off the field with their great players. You had a really good night that night against Ohio State, a couple of touchdowns in the game, and then you had a couple of other big games. The game against Penn State, you were fantastic, five catches, 91 yards, you had another 93 yards against Rutgers later on in the season. At this next level, do you project or hope to be a pass-catching, a pass-receiving tight end? Um, yes, sir. I, I definitely expect that. And um, I definitely expect to have the um, impact in the run game as well. So um, as much as I can use my body in the best way I can, then I would like to do that um, in the best way a team can put me. So um, we'll just see how that pans out. Ian Thomas joins us, tight end, Indiana Hoosiers, heading into the NFL draft coming up in a couple of weeks. You know, when young people go through tragedy or in the, earlier in their lives, sometimes they really don't want to relive it by discussing it. It can be hard to open up about those things. But you have, both of your parents passed away by the time you were 10 years old, and you were potentially going to go to foster home. Instead, your older brother ended up raising you those are tough things to talk about. Why have you chosen to be open about it? Um, I think it's definitely a blessing, that, and it helped me grow up as a man. And um, I think that's something that defined me and my family. And, it, I mean, it didn't break us, so um, why not discuss it? And I guess um, it's something that made us who we are today and uh, helped me become the man I am. How many of the brothers and sisters were with you when you guys all lost your parents? Um, it was it was all of us, all eight of us, all, all nine of us. Well, I have eight siblings, and including me as nine. So it's nine of you guys. And so at that point in time, how long after your parents had passed away did your older brother decide, okay, I'm going to be the guardian of everybody? Um, it was probably three to four years later. So you're about 13 years old at that point in time, 13 or 14 years old? Yes, sir. So you're kind of just starting high school. And then there's nine of you living together. How large was the apartment or the building that you were all kind of crammed into at nine kids? Well, the, the younger half went and lived with my grandmother, and uh, the older half were with my oldest brother. So we were kind of like split half and half. So who would take like chores or responsibilities around the house when it came to the older the older siblings? It was kind of like a, a mix, so everyone took did something different. So, um, like, for example, I would have dishes and my brother would take the trash out one week and we'd switch it um, weekly, kind of something like that. How was that to try to divvy up all the chores or responsibilities? I guess grocery shopping, right? Somebody's got to cook, somebody's got to clean. How was that working yeah. with your siblings? Um, it kind of, I felt like it kind of worked out well. Um, we all kind of had, like, a, a sense of we all know what we need to do to um, – move forward so um we kind of all had like a, a great mindset going into it so it all worked out it's amazing so this was all in baltimore where you grew up and then going through high school you wanted to play football but maybe you didn't have the grades to get into some of the bigger schools that were recruiting you so that is that when you decided to go to community college yes sir um originally i was supposed to go to towson university up in towson maryland but um Something happened with the clearinghouse and uh, my SAT scores. 
and um, it, it didn't, like, equal up to the right score or whatever. So I went to Nassau Community College, and then um, two years later, going through the recruitment process again, I actually found out that I was qualified out of high school. Not sure how that happened, but it did. Man, so all along, you should have been able to be allowed to go to Taus Towson, huh? Yes, sir. So you end up in Nassau Community College. Is that hard for you, not playing at a Division I school, or was it just another kind of challenge you took on? Um, to, For me, it was just making it to college was, like, my number one goal um, for my family. So um, that was kind of my mindset going into it. And um, another thing was just being away from my family and uh, living with um, a bunch of other guys was kind of a challenge as well, so. Yeah, how was that to try to do that after what you had gone through living with your siblings? Um, it was different. Um, I've kind of gotten used to it over the over the few months that I was there, and um, I kind of bonded well with everyone that I've been living with, and it was kind of like living with another family. So um, it worked out well in the end. Hmm. Ian Thomas joins us, Indiana tight end. And so you then get to Bloomington, Indiana, and you're playing Division One college football in the Big Ten. You're catching touchdowns against Ohio State. Life is good. And now next up is the NFL for you. Did any of your other siblings end up going to college? Um, a few of my siblings went to college, and a few of them are in college now. And, uh, but um, no one actually played sports in college. Wow. So after everything you guys had been through, nine siblings, losing your parents at an early age, everybody still stayed disciplined enough to get to college? Yes, sir. <sighs> that is amazing. And... You've been open about this whole story to NFL scouts and to media and whatnot because you feel like it made you a better person, right? Yes, sir. So going ahead into the NFL, is there anything you can't handle after everything that you went through growing up? Um, I don't think so. I've been through um, many different things that has tested my faith, so um, I feel like I'm a very strong man. I would have to agree, my man. I would have to agree. 6-3, you've got certainly the size that so many NFL scouts absolutely love, and you've got the athleticism as well. About 250 are you at right now? Where are you going to weigh in? Uh, about 257. 6 3, 257? Yes, sir. You know you're going to have a job in the NFL. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, man, there's not a lot of stories like yours, and I really appreciate anybody that would open up about something that's difficult like that. What you guys, you and your siblings have gone through is absolutely inspirational, man, and nothing but love from here. I wish you all the best. I can't wait to see where you end up landing. Probably in first two days of the draft, you'll have a home, man, and uh, hopefully we can catch up with you again when that happens. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. You got it. Ian Thomas joining us from Indiana.